Hey Virgo, how you doing? We're going to be doing your reading here for um, January 10th to the 16th. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm going to start it off with um, Whispers of Lord Ganesha here and uh, three cards on that and a quick summary and then we'll get into your reading using the Light Sears Tarot. Keep in mind these are general reads so they may not resonate with everyone. And of course if you are interested in a personal read that information is in the description box down below all right so let's see what we got going on for you guys so we have positive outlook being your first card that comes out and uh, next card we get is enlightenment okay and last but not least we have perseverance number 28 all right so let's see what this is about real quick here and then we'll get into your read so first card being number 29, positive outlook. Oops, just missed it. Okay. So positive outlook, how you feel depends on your own mental attitude. Okay. Um, so, you know, the, the card mainly feels, you know, if it's basically like your mindset, you know, so if you have a mindset of waking up, you know, in the morning and being negative and saying, oh, I got to go to work and I got to do this and I got to do that. Well, then, you know. Um, you, you're probably going to have a bad day. Um, if, if you end up um, kind of focusing on, you know, it's also like, you know, if you go, well, you know, I need to, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Just kind of like focusing yourself on the negative things um, or saying that you can't do something or, you know, I'm not good enough to do something. I'm not good enough. Then, you know, you, most likely you're not going to be good enough because you trained your mind to think that way, right? But if you kind of wake up and say, you know what, I could take care of that task. I could accomplish that high probability that you will accomplish that, you know, so just keep that in mind. Um, so that's kind of what having a positive outlook is the message for you there. OK, enlightenment number 27. Uh, connect to your true source to manifest your desires. The color purple is associated with being art, creativity and spirituality. It is considered a color of honor, courage, and is sometimes associated with royalty. Ganesha is sharing the purple hue to assist you with your spiritual journey inside yourself. By connecting with him and this energy, you will, you will be direct, redirected back to your true enlightenment nature. Okay. Next card out is Perseverance. We have, you are likely to see a financial or other tangible rewards for all the hard work. So Ganesha's test represents hard work and, and completing the task at hand. There is a legend, including in some manuscripts of the Mahabharata, about Ganesha breaking his own test off to continue writing the epic, well, the Mahabharata epic as Vyasa was dictating to him. Come on, you can read a book. Come on, Neil. Okay. Ganesha's test is interpreted as a symbol of sacrifice and strength and this demonstrates that it is important to finish what you start. OK, so, um, you know, finish what you start. You know, that's like the saying we, you know, we all know don't half ass something, you know. So if, if there's something that you start, a project that you start, do not half ass it. Don't stop it. Um, definitely finish what you start in anything that you do. OK, um, all right. So let's get into your read here and um see what's going on january 10th to the 16th uh for virgo virgo what we got going on for virgo we have the six of wands so recognition feeling accomplished um you know feeling pretty good here victory okay uh, so let's see here what's your challenge possibly coming up here Maybe you, there's something that you've been working on and you've, you've, you're feeling pretty uh, accomplished doing that, okay? Um, challenges, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So maybe, you know, any challenge here, you could be dealing with the water sign, um, but, you know, maybe this challenge is you need, needing to kind of look into yourself here, loving yourself a little bit more, nurturing yourself a little bit more, Okay. So uh, maybe even for some of you guys looking at your health, looking at, um, you know, maybe needing to change your diet, you know, things like that. Just kind of be aware, be aware of your health in general. OK, mental, 
state, just kind of looking inside, look within here and, and what you really need. Uh, maybe for some Virgos, maybe you've been working so hard, maybe just kind of concentrating on work so much that you need to take time out a little bit for yourself here and take a few days or maybe a day to, um, to, to love yourself a little bit, okay? In your focus, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, a lot of you guys look into your money, a lot of finances, okay? So you're, you're definitely worried, or not worried, but kind of focusing on your pentacles, your money, okay? Um, let's see, your recent past, Seven of Wands. So your recent past energy, Seven of Wands for me in this deck right now, it feels like um, you can see there's wands coming towards this uh, girl here. And she's kind of in her own, you know, she's meditating. She's in her own world. And she's not listening to the garbage that's coming towards her. So if there's gossip, drama, negativity, uh, blocking all that shit out and taking care of you, you know? So that's kind of what I'm seeing there, all right? Um, possibilities here for you. We do have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. So I feel like you are going to be taking charge moving forward still. Um, so if you do need to take care of yourself, you know, if there's something here where you need to go within... I feel like you're going to focus on yourself here. Focus on things. You're going to be more focused in general. All right. So just kind of working on you. Um, near future here, we have the six of four, six of swords moving forward. Moving forward here. Okay. So let's see your feels. What's going on? The king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So financially, I mean, you guys are moving forward towards your finances. Uh, something abundant for you um so if it's a work situation you're moving forward towards that maybe a promotion maybe uh, a raise uh something like that um if you have your own business you know you, money is coming in for you you know so whatever energy you're making towards your stability and finances is looking good but again i feel like you're um you know with the queen of cups sitting over there i feel like you just need to take some time out and go within and take care of yourself again that's the biggest message i can really get from this so far um your environment we have the devil okay so you know again your envir environment being the devil tells me you're over obsessing um about work maybe you're working too much maybe there's other addictions that you need to work on okay um but definitely feeling there's there's overworking yourself all right, so keep, you know, if this is resonating with anyone, but, you know, make sure you take some time out for yourself. Um, hopes and fears is Knight of Wands. So you're kind of hoping for some sort of victory. Again, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, it's celebrating, having a good time, you know. So you're really working hard towards some sort of goal. Uh, but understand that, you know, you're going to get to where you need to go. Um so if you're trying to rush into something and trying to make and accomplish something fast, um, you know, you're going to get to it. Ten of Pentacles, all right? So you're going to get there. Uh, but understand that, you know, things sometimes take time and sometimes you have to take a break for yourself here. I just have this energy of like somebody out there or someone, whoever this resonates with, just needs to like take some time out, okay? Just understand that things are going to flow through. Don't try to force. That, I guess that's the word. Don't try to force something, okay? Um, so whatever you're working on, don't try to force it. Possible outcome here is a star. Again, whatever you're wishing for, hoping for, dreaming about, it's coming for you, okay? So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and then you have the world card at the bottom of the deck. So definitely something new coming for you, um, a new beginning here that's, um, that's coming for you here, all right? Um, let's get some clarifiers because I just want to clarify the devil. Yeah, let's clarify the devil. Um... Actually, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Oops, side. Clarify Queen of Cups here. We have the Fool and the Five of Swords. Okay, so maybe there's like a new beginning here that you started, okay? So maybe there's a new beginning, that new journey that you went on, um, you know, and, and that's, that's why it is you. You know, the Queen of Cups, I feel like, it's you needing to kind of get more in tune here. It's a new journey. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of responsibilities, you know, possibly, you know, you fighting off people in general. And I said, you know, negativity, you know, blocking out the negative stuff, uh, people saying things, gossip, uh, whatever it is. It's kind of a lot of energy here. So I feel like you, you just need to take some time out for that. Um, let's see the devil here. We have the Ten of Wands. 
So Ten of Wands energy is a lot of burdens, okay? That's you just kind of carrying a lot of responsibilities, um, you know, feeling overwhelmed, all right? So um, again, I feel like that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing there, all right? So, you know, overall, this message, I'm just kind of seeing any Virgos that this kind of resonates with is just um, money-wise is going to look good. Whatever you're focusing on, whatever you're moving towards is going to be looking good, but kind of take some time out and just rest, just kind of... Uh, take some uh save your energy a little bit you know you're in it for the long run you're not in it for you know we're not trying to complete whatever we're trying to do in january unless this is a project for work or something but um you know i feel like this is a long long-term goal here towards your ten of pentacles so just kind of uh take some time out look at your health and make sure you're good there let me get you uh messages for the from the universe here this from the universe has your back deck so let's see here I choose love no matter what. I think Taurus, did Taurus get that one? In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. And uh, happiness is my birthright, okay? So, you know, just go out there and, and uh, when you take a break, you know, just... just um, Start tuning into things that are making you happy. Enjoy life a little bit. Enjoy the small things. That's really what um, what I can see here is, you know, you're definitely, your energy is, is um, determined. You're going to be successful, but also take time out for yourself, your health uh, and your well-being. Being. And don't forget to have a little fun and be happy, okay? Be happy with what you're doing, okay? So anyway, that's what I see for you, Virgo. Um, hit the like, subscribe. Definitely helps the channel out if you share. And uh, really appreciate your support. Until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.